coronavirus crisis continues to sweep across our country, and many Asian Americans are facing insults, abuse, and even attacks accused of starting this pandemic. Action News Now reporter Anna Torreya is live in Reading with how people are feeling. Yeah, there are many posts circulating on, show, on social media showing Asian Americans being targeted and harassed because of the coronavirus. And I asked several Asian Americans here if they feel safe. And they told me they are worried and concerned about their safety. One person told me she feels like people are looking at her differently now. Her family owns a restaurant and says this is hurting their business. We're Asian, but, you know, there's so many different types of Asian, and it's not just Asians that, you know, that have it now, too. It's everybody that feel like you guys just can't put it, put it on just Asian people. Last week, three Asian American advocacy groups, the Asian Pacific Planning and Policy Council, Chinese for Affirmative Action, and San Francisco State University's Asian American Studies Department started a center where people can report anti-Asian American or Pacific, Pacific Islander acts. I also reached out to the Reading Police Department to check and see if there have been any violence against Asian Americans, and they told me there hasn't been any at this time. Reporting live in Reading, Anna Torreya, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thank you, Anna. Now, President Donald Trump tweeted this week that people should look out for our Asian American community and protect those of Asian descent, quote, in the United States and all around the world. Though many Americans are not thrilled about him referring to COVID-19 as the China virus.